Hey, it's Mrs. A. I decided that I would also show you another way that you could use your stencils. And so I'm using some Q-tips here. I'm just gonna put a Q-tip in each one of these little tiny paint cup samples that I had at my house. And I'm going to get out my ballerina stencil here. And I'm going to try something a little different. Okay. Here we go, let's say, I think this one, I don't have any orange, I just have red and yellow, but what I can do is I can pat, I can drag or brush around here if I want to, just with my Q-tip, I can just drag around the edges of my stencil. She's gonna get a little dirty, but that's okay, she might turn out be beautiful in her own right after she is covered in fabulous paint. You can dab your paint kind of like this or if you have paint dabbers or daubers depending on if you say tomato or tomato um, you could use your paint dabbers or daubers to kind of dab around her and you could add some other colors as well. I'm just gonna kind of drag around the outside so you know what you feel like. If you feel like oil pastels, you can use oil pastels. If you have crayons, you can use crayons and then watercolor over them. You can use your temper paint. If you, this is temper paint that I'm using here, um, if you want to do that. So I'm gonna kind of, I kind of wanna add a couple of dots out here with my red and then get a little yellow and kind of dab around with my little yellow and see if I can get some orange. Oh, there we go. I get some orange dots here, my yellow. And I can, you know, I can make marks with my paint tool, as it were. It uh, happens to be a Q-tip today. But I can certainly, she's looking like a star here. I love it. So I want to make her very fancy. All right, now that one's dirty, so I'm gonna set it to the side and I'm gonna get another Q-tip. I'm gonna carefully lift her off. Oh, there she is, fabulous. All right, now I'm going to use my stencil next and I'm going to go ahead and put my stencil a little higher, kind of like I did before. This time I'm going to mix some, I'm gonna put some white daubs in here. Dibby dab, dibby dab, dibby dab, like that. And then I'm going to take my red and I'm going to see if I can mix it up and make it into, if you know what color what white and red make, white and red, uh, <laughs> they make pink, of course. So we're gonna see if we can get some pink in here, at least a little lighter red. Add white, white. Okay. So we got a little more white in there. I think I've got a little pink going on. Oh, hold down your little armpit island. There we go. Do, 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 do. Hold down the leg island. Now, this one will need a place to dry, so make sure you've thought about that before you start painting. Where are you gonna lay this to dry? She can't just leave it lay on the table where mom might be getting ready to put dinner out. So be thinking about where it's going to dry. Ooh, she's looking lovely. All right, so let's see. I think she needs a little, maybe a little. I wonder if I could double dip. Can I double dip? Oh, I did. Let's see what happens. Oh, 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 that's so cool. All right, now this one. I always think of a lot of movements. Ballerinas have a lot of movement. So I'm going to make my lines have a lot of movement. Put a little blue up here. This has a little different look to it than the other one because of the painting and the mixing colors and things like that. So you can do whichever one you like. I'm gonna keep working on this one. I'll try flipping it over. Now, something funny might happen here because I think I might get some of that first color might come off on the second one. Hmm, oh, I better use the green this time. Let's use the green. Do, do, do. 
Dab, 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 dab. Come along the edge. I like stencils because you can use them over and over and over and over and over again until they kind of get all worn out. You can use them to make cards. If you wanted to make a whole bunch of cards for everybody in your neighborhood, you can make one stencil and make the same card over and over again with little differences. Whoops, she slipped a little. She got a little wacky. Let's see what happens when I add a little, ooh, I got a little yellow green happening here. This is so much fun. You probably don't wanna watch me do this. You probably wanna do it yourself, which is totally fine. Now that you've got the hang of it, you understand how to use the stencil with the, and make negative space with the um, silhouette by drawing where the ballerina is not, and how to make positive space by filling in this hole where the ballerina was. Oh, I think I gotta turn her over, right? I'll turn her over. And I will make her yellow. Oh, 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 I don't want that yellow. I want the orangey yellow. Hold it down. More yellow. Oh, so cool. Kind of getting it on my fingers. It's kind of awesome. So, do you have to do a ballerina? No. Does it have to be a person? Mm, no. It can be anything you like. Can you use a picture? Yes. Can you find a character on a cereal box and just cut it out and use the silhouette of it? Mm, yes. Are there endless possibilities to this process? Uh, yes, yes, yes there are. So, until we are together again, oh, I think I need some more blue. Oh, 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 I love it. It needs purple. Mm. How do I make purple? Using blue and, oh, yep, red, blue and red. Yeah, maybe in the middle a little bit of white, let's see. Oh, too much white. Ah, too much white. Oh, but now it's getting kind of purpley. Oh, yes. So funky free. Love it. You notice how I'm picking up the paint over here and I'm laying it down over here because I got a little blobby spot over here where I got too much, too much white. It is awesome. Super cool. All right, so that is how to use your stencils with paint. Enjoy, get messy, and have fun. Until we're together again, this is Mrs. A.